hello lovely people how are you doing i hope you're all doing okay now in today's video i come with good news i want to share a pathway that is rarely talked about and this is the seasonal worker visa it is also known as the temporary worker or seasonal worker visa so stay tuned because this opportunity is a really interesting one first of all you do not need an IELTS test for this particular visa and this visa is for you to travel to the UK for six months. Yes, it's a temporary visa that enables you to travel to the UK for six months to work temporarily in the different sectors. For example, in the hot culture sector, you can do picking flowers, picking fruits. Uh, initially, you could also work in the poultry farms, but or drive the heavy duty cars that are used to transport uh, farm products but right now this particular one you are able to go to the uk for six months and work in the whole hot culture sector so i just want to explain to you a few things you are required to be 18 years or over at the time you apply for this particular visa and you also need to have a proof of funds that is worth 1270 pounds but the advantage is that in case you get a job within this sector and the employer is willing to give you the certificate of sponsorship which is a reference number that you used in your visa application he can also indicate that he is willing to support you for the first month on your arrival in the uk and therefore you will not be required to provide the proof of funds or bank statements to back you up so this visa is a really good opportunity if you use it wisely you will find yourself in the uk within three weeks because once you apply for it you will get your response in regards to your visa within three weeks and therefore immediately you can be able to travel to the uk it is easier because first of all we all know that the IELTS test is an advantage a disadvantage to most people and it has been an hindrance to be able to score the required points but with this particular visa you do not need an IELTS test so that is an added advantage and also the fact that you do not you are required to have proper funds but there is also an advantage that you can actually uh, ask your sponsor to indicate that in the certificate of sponsorship and therefore you will have also gotten a solution to that so this visa is easier to get because even if it's temporary if you use it wisely you can enter UK you work that particular job within those months but you can also use your time in the UK to look for a more permanent opportunity so that by the end of the six months, you can go back home and then apply to come back on a more permanent uh, pilot or a more permanent pathway. You can look for permanent jobs while in the UK, do your interviews, but let them know your current status so that they can prepare to send you the certificate of sponsorship as soon as you get back home to your home country after your six months. So don't you guys see that this is a good opportunity for you guys. So this is one way that you can enter the UK, get the required experience. You can also study, do short courses while you are in UK for this particular job. The only thing you cannot do is work for any other employer while on this particular visa. So the only thing, the only reason why you should go for this visa is it will enable you to enter UK, it will enable you to gain experience, and it will also give you a better chance to look for a permanent job while you're in the UK, so that by the time you go back, you can come back, because most of you have always complained that it is hard for you to get a job or a, a job offer or a certificate of sponsorship while outside the UK. So you can use this opportunity to enter the UK for six months, do all the your, your groundwork, and then go back and wait but this time you'll be having an added advantage so without further ado let's go right onto the website and see the details regarding this particular pathway so here we are and it says temporary worker seasonal worker visa 
and let's go through the overview it says you can apply for a seasonal worker visa to come to the uk to work in hot culture for up to six months for example picking fruits vegetables or flowers and here it says you can no longer apply to do poultry work butcher pork butchery or to drive a heavy goods vehicle to transport good food you also need to have a sponsor meet the eligibility requirements we are going to go through that shortly and it also says here that this visa has replaced the temporary worker seasonal worker visa t5 so as you can see it says how long it takes for you to get this visa you can apply for the visa up to three months before the day you are due to start work in the uk this date is listed on your certificate of sponsorship as part of your application, you'll need to prove your identity and provide your documents. You need to allow extra time if you need an appointment to do this. You'll find out if you need one when you start your application. And you will get a decision with, on your visa within three weeks. The application fee, you need to pay for the application fee, which costs £259. You can also stay in the UK for only up to six months. You can enter the UK as soon as your visa is valid, up to 14 days before the start date on your of your job. Here they say what you can and cannot do. Number one, you can work in the job described in your certificate of sponsorship. You can also study. And for some courses, you'll need an Academic Technology Approval Scheme Certificate. And then what you cannot do is, you cannot, <coughs> sorry, you cannot take a permanent job. You cannot also work in a second job or a job that isn't described in your Certificate of Sponsorship. You cannot get public funds and you cannot bring your family members with you. So here, let us look at the eligibility criteria. It says you must be 18 or over when you apply and have both of the following. One, a certificate of sponsorship, reference number from your UK sponsor. Two, enough money to support yourself in the UK. You'll usually need to have at least £1,270 available unless you're exempt. I'll explain the exemption part later. Here they explain that a certificate of sponsorship is a reference number which holds information about the job and your personal details. It's not an actual certificate or paper document. Your sponsor will give you your certificate of sponsorship reference number. You'll need to add your certificate of sponsorship reference number to your visa application form. You can only use it once. Your certificate of sponsorship is valid three months from the date it's assigned to you. And then we go to money to support yourself. You must have at least £1,270 in your bank account to show you can support yourself in the UK. You will also need to have had the money available for at least 28 days in a row. Day 28 must be within the 31 days of applying for this visa you'll usually need to show proof of this when you apply unless your sponsor can cover your costs during your first month in the uk up to 1270 pounds you can also read the guidance on financial evidence for more information mm. Here it says, if your sponsor can support you instead, your certificate of sponsorship must confirm this. Your sponsor will need to complete the certificate, complete the sponsor certifies maintenance section on your certificate. This is under additional data. Next, we look at the documents you must provide. So click there and here we go. Documents you must provide when you apply, you'll need to provide number one, 
your certificate of sponsorship reference number your sponsor will give you this number to a valid passport or the other document that shows your identity and nationality number two evidence that you have enough personal savings to support yourself in the uk you already talked about that uh, for example bank statements or unless your certificate of sponsorship shows your sponsor can support you and then you need a blank page in your passport for your visa you if you have another type of travel document for example a stateless person's travel document it must have space for your visa and then you must also provide a certified translation of any document or documents that are not in english or welsh apart from your passport so they also say you should note that the home office might ask you to provide additional documents after you apply so that is it guys for today and next you just click on apply and you go ahead and apply for this opportunity so my people this is a good pathway for you to take advantage of as i already explained watch the video i will leave the link in the description box also if you're new here and you haven't yet joined our family please ensure to subscribe do not forget to leave us a comment let us know what you think if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll gladly answer. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.